Hey guys, K2's Virtual Workshop. We're messing with this motherboard again. That's right. Um, hopefully you're not sick of 386SX stuff yet because I am going to be returning this board to stock. So we're going to be putting the original SX processor back on this motherboard. And you're probably wondering why on earth I would want to do that. Well, let me return it to stock real quick and then with the magic of editing, I'll show you. Here we are, the SX25 reinstalled. You can see my giant finger on the screen now, just how zoomed in we are. And I'm gonna show you why I wanted to return this to stock. This is a Cyrix CX486 SRX2. Uh, it's similar to the DRX2, except this is for the DX, obviously, and this is for the SX chips. This came in the mail today. I've had it less than about two hours now, and I've already switched this board back to the standard processor and fit this on here. That's how excited I am to use this chip. So, yeah, there's some, there's some drawbacks to this. This only has 1K of cache. The processor that we had in here before had eight. So there's gonna be a little bit of a performance hit using this, but I'm super excited to give this a go. I would maybe think about swapping the processor on the little module, but I don't wanna mess up the module. So that's not happening. I'm gonna leave it as is, and we're gonna run through some benchmarks testing out the SX25 versus the SLC with 1K of cache, single clocked at 25 megahertz, and then the SRX, I meant. So many different abbreviations on these stupid things. And then at 66, 50. I'm looking at the 66 here. Jeez. Okay, so let's do that and see what we get. Fun fact, this processor has never actually worked before. I know that because between this side of the processor and this side of the processor, about two dozen pins weren't actually connected. So I had to go in and solder them to this adapter so that I could actually boot the machine up and run benchmarks. You'll notice that the flush circuitry is missing from on here. I wanted to run a comparison between using external flush circuitry and using the barb input on the processor to clear our cache. Because like I said in the first video where I put a new processor on this motherboard, this ASIC doesn't supply a flush signal to the processor. And there is a performance difference, which we will look at in a minute, but it's not enough to make me want to um, leave the circuitry hanging off the board, at least not at this particular moment. I also got Doom working on this system. Finally, it involved formatting the hard drive and uh, reinstalling everything exactly like it was, but it does work. So I do have some benchmark results on that front. And yeah, let's go ahead and look at the benchmarks and we'll see what we have here. On the left, you're gonna see the benchmark with the barb input being used. And on the right, you're gonna see when the flush was used with the external circuitry. Um, the performance difference here is a good indicator that the ASIC that controls memory refresh doesn't do a hidden refresh. And so we're clearing the cache unnecessarily between um, memory refreshes. We also see the same thing in PC player. And the External circuitry isn't that complicated. It's a couple of gates and it's pretty easy to implement. So I may end up putting it back in there, but for now I think I'm gonna run without and see just how things go. Um, it's, I mean, it's an SX platform, you know, we're expecting it to be at least a little bit behind and such. So kind of is what it is. Uh, here we can see the benchmarks for uh, various setups. The blue one, which is the longest one, is the overclocked 486 SLC that we did a while back. 
This is a synchronous 50 megahertz bus, so it overcomes a lot of the bandwidth limitations of having the 25 megahertz bus on top of only 16-bit data path. And it scales like you would expect. So the SX in this motherboard at 25 megahertz is the slowest. And then the uh, SRX2 speeds it up quite a bit, but because it has 1K of cache instead of 8, it's behind the orange line, which is the SLC2 at 40 megahertz. So the best performance option for this motherboard is the processor we had in there, but it's not nearly as cool as this little add-on. So I think I'm going to stick with it for now and um, get that SXLC2 back in its motherboard. With a case. Um, <laughs> I got kind of nervous with it on the acrylic while I was doing stuff over the last few months and I was like, you know what? In a case it goes. This is a kind of small case, so it comes with the issue of once you put the drive holder for three and a half inch drives in, it covers up all of this part of motherboard that's actually interesting. But I'm going to 3D print a little short single drive bracket with a fan on it so that I can keep the processor cool because it runs really hot just by itself in here. And yeah. We leave some performance on the table, not going with something like the um, overclocked SLC that I ran at 50 megahertz. but I really like this motherboard. I don't necessarily need anything blazing fast because I have a 486 in the AST running over 100 megahertz. I filmed a whole bunch of stuff for that and I never actually posted it. <laughs> I figured out how to run something other than a 486DX266 in that machine. And I'm going to get on editing that and uploading it. I can't believe I forgot about that. But this system, as is, is really cool. We can pop off the accelerator if we want to. We don't really need to because it will do 25 megahertz and 50 megahertz cache enabled or disabled. So we've got a huge amount of... Um, performance options if we want to choose them for the low-end stuff, like Wing Commander and things like that. You can see it runs Doom. It's playable. Uh, is it high FPS? No. But if I'm being honest, if I'm playing Doom or something, I may end up using something like GZ Doom instead. <laughs> I don't generally play on the older systems, if I'm being honest there. So... Anyway, if there's anything else you'd like to see me try to run on this system, uh, any questions, comments, whatever, I'm sure I will have more to demonstrate as far as comparing to this system goes. So let me know in the comments below and have a wonderful day.